And hello everybody, welcome back to a brand new episode of Rising World with yours truly, the Hermit Hood. I hope you guys are enjoying this. I'm working on a brand new intro for this series. If you guys have seen that with this, then you've probably already noticed it. Um, I'm not sure if I'm ready to release it or not. I may have already put it together and slapped it in with this video you guys might see it if it is in it let me know what you guys think of it i've gone off i've been doing a little bit creative gathering i got some stone i got some wood ah just enough to get us going to keep us by for the time being i mean it's not much in a way of anything but i did get myself a good chunk of ores and all that stuff and things going and as far as stone, not too much. I actually ran into something, and I want to bring you guys over there and show you what I found. Um, it's quite interesting, to be honest with you. Uh, all of these saplings, however, I think I'm going to go ahead and plant them. Um, let's see here. Food, we're going to go ahead and shove over here on this side. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put that there. Um, all my saplings... We'll whoops not there um put that here let's see here something that some of that some of that and put that tent inside of there i need to show you guys what i found that's what i want to show you guys i mean forget that for right now i want to show you guys what i found i mean this is awesome um so i was out mining a whole bunch of stuff in the cave you know i was in creative mode and we might go back into creative mode i think we're still in it are we yes we are okay yeah we are still in creative mode that's okay that gives us infinite for the time being i didn't leave creative mode just yet um <laughs> That's okay. You guys get to see. I mean, I am, I am starting to chop down a lot of the trees in the area. Um, using my axe for that. Um, once I get a chainsaw and I get a mining drill, then I'll be out of creative mode. And you guys won't see me in it for a while. Unless we're doing montages and we need to get things done like pronto. Because I don't like to take a year and a half to get projects done. Um, why am I going this way? Um, let's just F2 into the air and let's get moving. <laughs> now, I cannot remember how to speed up my flight. So, what I did do is we ended up with a thunderstorm that rolled into my, that rolled into the game. All right. And I took advantage of that. And I, while I was chopping down trees, we had a thunderstorm that came rolling through and I came out here and I decided, you know what? I'm going to use this for a, uh, to create an intro. So I've made a whole mess of clips and I'm going to put those together for an intro video. But while I was over here, guys, remember that little cave out, that little area? Yes, this right here. Okay, let's F2 down because I'm not going to be flying through here. I'm going to turn my lamp on. My, my creative lamp, that is, for the time being. Until we can get ourselves a headlamp. And I believe it was down here. I was mining my way across. Maybe not. Okay, maybe it was up here. Because I'm trying to keep this legit as possible. And I was mining my way. Aha, here it is. I was, start, I was mining my way across here. I started to mine my way down. And I busted into a cavern. All right, so you can see this. I was mining my way across. I came down this way, and I was like, wait a second. What's this over here? So I came down here, and there was a giant pit of tungsten right here. I was like, all right, so let me go ahead and mine this out. So I mined that out. Now, up here, I found another one off to the left. <laughs> Now, I don't have any torches or anything on me for this, so we might just F2 out of this one. Uh, or creatively flight out of it, but let's just take a quick look. Alright, um, well, a quick look is, looks like it's going to turn into a mining session real quick. 
All right, let's, uh, eh. Yeah, this is underground. Give me that iron. Um, <laughs> just give me that yummy iron. Any more? No. All right. And this looks like copper. All right. And this thing looks like you can't even go down it. Well, it looks like you can go up it. And it branches off into, oh my goodness, wow. <laughs> okay, this is definitely a torch job for this one. I do not want to come down here and get lost, all right? I definitely don't want to do that. Um, all right, so we broke in over here. We went to the right. Let's go left. This one area goes down. Let's see where it goes down to. But let's not stop there. We're going to get all of these yummy ores. Alright, and I want to try to go down that slide over there. It looks like a slippy slide, but we do need the stone, so... Let's just bust our way through here. Come on, let me through. What the? We just mined all that out. What is this? What is this madness? More iron. Ha <laughs> ha. Just our luck. All right, I'll come back for that iron another time. Let's, let's see where this goes. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Careful. All right. Please just let me across. It's all we want to do is come across and see what is over there. We know we have to go up. To get back over so i want to come down here i want to take a look at this i wasn't sure what to record for today's episode and then i ran across these caves and i was just like hmm well we do need the materials okay we have to go up that way all right you know what i'm gonna do guys um we're gonna go to lights and we're going to uh We're going to do something like this. All right. Pardon me, but I need to be able to know which way to go. All right. This way goes this way. All right. We got a little bit more iron in here. I'm going to have more iron than I can count. <laughs> Who needs to dig a catechism? I don't need to dig that no more. Let's go caving. I take it red fixed it. Eh. I missed it. Eh. All right. Maybe there wasn't any iron there. All right. Let's keep moving. Oh my goodness, wow. Um, I might be in creative mode, but I do not think I want to just drop down there. All right, let's go this way. What's over here? All right, had to be sure I w that wasn't going to be a uh, drop and... Uh, <laughs> Right, any other ten turns and bends? All right, it looks like we got one, and we just came from. Let's see here. All right, we just came from that direction, so let's go ahead and do that right there. 
All right, let's grab this coal. I might just go right on ahead and set that furnace, guys. And we come to a three-way. All right, shall we? Let's try the bottom one first. Another nip of coal. Oh, don't worry, it's only... Uh... <laughs> How are we doing here? All right, I guess we're doing okay. Another niche of coal right there. All right. It looks like all three of these connect. Well, at least two of them do. And we can see our light from there. Is it true? Does this one connect to that one like I think it does? Yes, it does. So basically, all this one does is just come up and loop back up into it. That's what it looks like. Yeah, because there's that patch of coal right there. Okay, so what does this thing do? Is this just... Yeah, all three of them connect. All right, so what is this? Copper. All right. So if all three of these connect, then there isn't too much to worry about right here. Um, should we add a torch here? All right, let's go. Oh, they all connect. <laughs> I didn't know that. Okay, that's cool. That's nice to know. They all connect back up to this. Then if we were to follow this thing the whole way back over here. We can ride this thing back up here. To where we came from. It's hard to pass these ores up. And I want to avoid that because it looks a little bit dangerous. All right. Can we get back up here? Yes. Without any problems? Yeah. All right. And I think this is where I dug my way in at. Yeah. So I wanted to take you guys over here and show you this that I dug my way into and I was just like, oh wow, this is awesome. You guys got to see this. All right, so let's get outside here and let me work my way back over to base. I believe it's out here somewhere. Because our forest is right there, so if we just aim our way straight, we should be able to just kind of end up straight. Either way, it doesn't matter which way we go, we'll end up straight back at the beach, which is a good thing. I think. Don't worry, the debug lamp will be turned off here in a moment. <laughs> as soon as we lay down. Here we go. And this is our archipelago. So our base is down here and I can I can walk a lot faster than I can with anything else. All right, these things are a bit cheaty, so we're going to go ahead and just toss them. And let's get down here and take a nap. <laughs> That was interesting. I wanted to bring you guys in here and show you those caves. All right, let's take a nap. Turn that debug lamp off and let's take a nap. Uh, I got any coffee left or we're going to make another pot. Make another pot. <laughs> oh, how long are we into this? About 15 minutes. All right. Enough gabbing. 
All right, let's go ahead and see what we got, guys. Um, page four. How much stone do we got? Eh, we got enough for today. I think we should set this down. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to set this thing down. Um, we need some blocks for that. And we do have some. However, I also need to see how big it is before I even do that. This looks like it is a 5x5. Five five. Okay. So, let's see here. What do I got for blocks? I'll use this. Alright, I'm going to... I'm going to set this thing down, guys. It looks like our... Is that a baby watermelon? That's a baby watermelon. <laughs> and sugar beets are ready. Nice. All right. So I'm going to set this up like right here as a 5x5, five five, guys. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And... I'm going to uh, take care of something personal real quick and not coffee guys yes i know i want some coffee but i gotta take care of something personal i'll be right back all right guys got t got my personal business taken care of i hate that all right let's see here what's the best way for me to set this thing down we could always make another one heck we got iron for days now um what is the best way for us to set this thing down um, honestly, what is the best way? And I was right. A five by five platform. Yeah. I guess that makes the other one a seven by seven. Okay. Yeah. I realized I had creative mode still on. I didn't think of that. Sorry about that guys. All right. So let's go ahead. We can load this thing up with what is this 12 on top 24 all right we can do 24 on this one i think the other one you could do a total of 60 72 on it maybe or half a stack just under a stack maybe all right maybe two pieces of this Let's get that thing up and running and shove this other stuff away. And let's get working. All right, so got some saplings, got some things, stuff and things going. Let's see here. What do we need? What do we need? What do we need? Actually, let's just do this. Um, F2. Um, get me some of, give me this. I said, give me this. All right, and we're going to do that. We're going to do this. And I'm going to go ahead and we're going to grab our blocks, guys. We're going to, we might as well go out and head and do some work. Let's see here. Do, 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 do. Grab some of that stone. One, two, three, four, and five, six. No, you know what? Stick with the uh, four for right now. I like that idea. Stick with the four. Let's turn four into number 25 under stone bricks. All right, let's go ahead and do that. All right, and let's get over here and let's do some work. All right, so this thing has to go straight up to this point. And we need to kind of bring it up the whole way around. Um... Not sure how much this, how, how much stuff this is going to take, how much stone whatsoever. Um, I do know I want to ingrain some windows into this. Um, maybe let's see here. Um, let's see here. Can we integrate windows in this thing somehow? One, two, three, four. Yeah, let's do that. Maybe like right there. And should we bring it up maybe a little bit further? Maybe add some staircase in here or something, you know, to give it a little bit more depth and perception so you actually see something. Um, we'll have to look at that and wait and see. Um, 
We'll wait and see. I tell you guys what. Let's just go ahead. We'll fill this in for right now. And we'll knock out blocks when we when it's time to uh, add stuff to it. All right, like windows and other things like that. For right now, let's just get the uh, let's just get the shape of this tower in place. Uh, what I need this thing to do at this point is we need it to come up roughly about 32 blocks in the air. So, well, maybe about 32, 16. It is a roughly big fat tower at best. So bringing it up pretty big because it is going to be a lighthouse. This is the base of it. Um, yeah, this is the base of it, so yeah, we're going to have to uh, try to raise this thing up pretty good. Um, hmm. I'd like to know, what, what are you guys' thoughts on this? I mean, when it comes to a lighthouse, I mean, how how tall do you think the base of, the, of it should be, all right? I can paint some of this out here with gravel, but I'm not too sure about that. In here where I was adding sand, um, not too sure about that. I thought about that when I was doing it. That's why I stopped. It's like, oh, wait, that's going to show up on the outside of it, and it's not going to quite look right. And I was right. It doesn't. Um, nice little caving job for today, though, at least. <laughs> at least that paid off. All right, let's see here. Grab a little wee bit more. I'm thinking this base might have to go up maybe about... Um, before I even start to thin it out... Yeah, before we start to thin this thing out... Before we start to thin it out, how... Because right now, it's just basically gone six blocks. And six just doesn't seem to be enough. Alright, so six doesn't seem to be enough. So, let me see here. So we basically just have to retrace this. Now, we could do a different design for this portion right here. But what I'm thinking we're going to have to do is this portion right here. If I look at it, if I stand back and look at it. Um, Yeah, right about there. I'm thinking right about there. Should be the max height of the bottom. For the lighthouse. So let's stand back and look at that. Yeah, that should be the max height for it. I mean, if we're standing down here and we're looking at it. Yeah, I'm thinking that should be the max height for the width of it. Of this first layer and then we begin to uh, make it go thinner hmm but I want to integrate eventually what I want to do is I want to switch it out for something a bit wider all right so this is like the base of it all right think of it as like all right we're making it look as good as we can at the moment we have to integrate some type of mossy stone brick inside with this, um, obviously. We're going to need a little bit more of this stuff to finish this off. All right, let's get over here. Let's get, what is that? Page four. One, two, three, four. All right. And grab ourselves some block bench. Max. 
I do got some coffee going, so pardon me if I decide to pause and go grab some. Just bringing it up a wee bit further, guys. I think this should do. I know we're not montaging it this time. That's okay. We'll be all right. Let's just bring this in and because you got to remember that right there is going to be the staircase. It's going to come straight up through the center of it. Now, the reason I want to do like a white block, I want to do like a white brick block is to make it stand out like a sore thumb. All right, we want people to be able to see this lighthouse from the uh, from the ocean coming in. You know what I mean? So this is the base. Yeah, I like this. This is coming along nicely. All right, so let's see here. Let's see here. We'll go ahead. We'll add this in. I promise you guys, this is not a castle. I know it started to look like one last episode, and I'm trying to rectify that by explaining to you guys about this, all right? Um, you know what? Just, there we go. We'll add little designs in with this at a later time. Not today, not today, not today. I just want to get the uh, frame of the bottom taken in today. I know we really didn't have to go down into the caves together, but I wanted to show you guys that. It looked like something we could enjoy together. Nice. Okay, we got this. All right, now what I want to do is go grab myself a single stack of a different type of block. Not ID 25, but something entirely different, okay? I need something that's going to contrast this. Grab me one stack of stone. And we need something to contrast the... Uh, I need a heavy contrast, all right? Not this one, not that one, and not that wood, okay? So we're looking for a heavy contrast. Something really heavy and really dark, all right? So we're going to stick with the stone bricks just for a moment. And I think ID 30. Let's take a look. I think that's what we have already. Let's take a look inside of here. Where do we put all those blocks? What is this? ID 23. All right. I need to see what ID 30 looks like. All right. ID 30 contrasted up against that. Um... It's a very similar to that, but it might just do the trick. This one is something we're actually going to be using also. So should we use that or should we save it to use with this? It, these two will be used. These three right here will be used around the base of it. What I'm looking for right now, guys, is something that we could use around the lip of this. We're going to build a lip is what I'm looking for. I'm looking for something to build a lip. 
something real heavy that we could build a lip with. Um, no. Um, because this right here, I think, is one I want to use, or this one. Um, this could work very well for what I wanted it to do. But I need something very heavy to go up against this. Let's see here. Let's grab ourselves about one, two, three, four, five. You know what? Grab me a stack of this. I need something really heavy to go up against this. Give me... All right, so this is another pallet. This is going up. This is what this wood is going to accent with. We need something heavy. And maybe, yes, maybe that dark one right there, ID30. I'm thinking that one could work. And I'm also going to need a stack of slabs of those. So... What I'm going to do is I'm going to take these two things. Um, I need to get some water in my system first. And preferably some taters. Alright, we're good. We're good. We're nice and fed. We got lots of water in our body. And these things, what I want to do with these guys is I want to kind of... First things first is I need to do this, and then I need to do one of those, all right? So this is going to come across this like this, all right? It's going to be a lip that is going to hang right here on the exterior, all right? Now the white blocks are what's going to come across this right here. These slabs that you guys are looking at are going to come across right here. So basically it's going to staircase its way up. Um, maybe we grabbed the wrong ones and these should have turned out as uh, stairs then. Yeah, that's probably how it should have turned out. All right, so we probably just wasted some material. That's perfectly okay. Mistakes happen. We just have to work from them. All right, let's go ahead. Let's shove this inside of there then. And we need that ID30. And this is why I go mining for stone all the time, guys. I want to make sure that I have enough for mistakes. And ID30. That needs to be these. All right. Let's see what this looks like. Let's pull this out. All right, let's do this too. Now this one is going to be, like I said, upside down. Like this. Now, it will have curved blocks, all right? Don't worry about that just yet. Um, let's add one of these. Let's add that, all right? Let's go ahead. Let's pull this out. And what I will do is, like like right about in here I will add a curve to this okay so don't worry about that right there I know it looks a little bit off at the moment don't worry whoops that is not the right one there you go so what this is going to do if we step back and look at it this is going to fatten up just a wee little bit 
And it's going to step into the second tier of this tower. Okay, it's where our lighthouse is going to be. And our lighthouse is pretty much going to go maybe about, I don't know, about, I think I'm going to take it maybe about, if we look at this right here, it, this thing goes down, let's hit F2 for a moment. And this thing goes down roughly about 15 blocks. Well, we're going to want this thing to go up twice that. So we see it goes 14. Well, I want to take it up 28. Okay. So this is going to go 28 blocks up higher in the air than it does, than it is currently. F totally forgot that I wasn't in creative. <laughs> Accidents happen. That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> uh, let me pause, do a little bit of work, and I'll be back. Okay, guys. So I took the time. I built the the lip on this thing, and after building the lip, I was I took a look. I took a step back at it, and I looked at it, and I was like, guys, this looks like we're building a rook. You know that that chess piece. It actually looks like a rook. Um, it's kind of strange, but it does. It looks like a rook. Um, <laughs> it does. It looks like a rook. If I if I just like have to stood down here and we look at this, it actually starts to have some definition. I mean, since I added these other blocks just for uh, this stuff to actually sit on, it starts to give it some definition, and I'm thinking. We could actually add a window inside of here. I wonder if we could add like a uh, clover in here of some sort. Hmm. We're going to have to try that. Add a clover in there of some sort. I'm not sure how we would do that, but I like the idea of adding a clover on that. Um, another thing. If we get up here, let's look at this as we go around it. We spin around it in circles. All right. Um, you guys can see I do got these things I got to pull out of here. <laughs> I needed something for my stuff to sit on. So, yeah, we do got that. Um, unfortunately, we don't have much light over here. So, there isn't too much we can see over here. But if we back out and you look at this from the ocean... That actually doesn't look half bad because you catch these little glimpses of light that kind of stick out through that. And it looks good. I like it. Really, I do. You see the entrance to it? It looks good. I like it. All right. We do got a little bit of a nub right over here we got to get off. Let's get this one off of here. And, hmm, let's go inside, I'll show you guys the inside of this thing real quick, and I'm going to go ahead, and this, ah, this looks nice, I like it, you know what, I need a screenshot of this, not Huff, HUD, no, no, no this is not Minecraft, F12, all right. Thank you. Use the right tools, the right buttons, and we'll be okay. All right. So, <laughs> yeah, that's me. Always using the wrong buttons. So, this will be the staircase that will come up on the inside. It will go up through this. But I think this is going to look nice, guys. I think what we'll do is we'll bring it up towards that area, and that will become a single floor in itself. Um... We'll just increase it as we come up on it, guys. There'll be multiple floors in it. So what I think I want to do is we'll do one floor, two floor, about three. I want to take it up really high in the air. And we're using the white now. And once this thing gets up high enough, we're going to add a railing and an outside deck that goes around it. And then we'll use some glass and other stuff and things for it. And yeah, we got some plans for this, guys. I'm going to finish up this building right here. 
before we start any other projects, all right? Um, like, I'm not even going to bother building a house or nothing. Not yet. <laughs> uh, sure, we could use storage. And you know what? I thought about if we can build this up to that second floor right there, we could use that second floor for storage. And I don't have a problem with that. So tomorrow, guys, what do you guys say we get into some montage mode and build up to that second floor, move this stuff up there instead of having it out here and all over the floor, all over the ground. For example, our bed, you know, I love this thing, but I prefer to have this thing inside on a stable ground, not somewhere where I, I got to worry about if I'm going to fall through the world or not, you know. I want it somewhere where I can sleep. And we need a bucket. We need a bucket of water. All right. We we really need a bucket of water, guys. Um, we need to get some gravel going. We need a lot of things. Really, we do. <laughs> I'll see you guys tomorrow. Let me know what you guys think of this. See you later. Bye-bye.